Oh, good morning. Out here on Sebastian River, do a little fly fishing, and also field testing a new lure it's by DOA. It's a PT7. It's a topwater. It's actually a soft plastic topwater bait. It has a rattle in it. It floats. It's a single hook. So uh, gonna check it out, see how it does, and uh, I'll give you a report. I got one jack. Oh, I got a ladyfish. Putting on a little show. Oh! <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> afterwards but uh, cool thing is you can put it right back together so whoo man there you go right back together so it's very durable bait that lady fish tore it up okay, hooked up again uh -huh. I think it's a jack Yeah, gotta be. Little one. Come, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Really like the fact that it has a single hook, which does make it a lot easier on me and on the fish. Nothing worse than having Jackson ladyfish and uh, treble hooks. PT7, so far so good, but let's see if we can get a snook or so let's see if we can get a, something a little more decent than Jack and Ladyfish. I'll talk a little bit more about the uh, PT7. Tested it today and uh, cool little lure. I like the way that hook pops out. Um, explain a little more about this lure in detail soft plastic it floats there's some foam in there there's also a rattle so he's put a rattle into this it's a single hook lure top water what's cool about this is that you can work this through some heavy structure weeds and everything else and when those fish hit it just thing pops out and you have a good hook setup I used a czar spook made a, uh, a, a plastic plug similar to this 20 30 years ago but the hook set was terrible this one's a lot better now, there's times when I like throwing a regular topwater plug. And there's the times when throwing the soft plastic it has an advantage over this, and that's pretty much what I'm going to cover here. Ah, here we go. Okay. Where this would have an advantage over, let's say, a, uh, a haul them in lure is when you're fishing heavy structures. Let's say for bass, you're back in the weeds and stuff like that. You want to take that pinch of that barb and you want to stick it into the lure. So even when it goes over vegetation, it's not going to catch it. So and that will pop out when the fish hit it, that will pop out and still allow you to catch fish. Another area I like to use this, if you're not fishing heavy vegetation for bass, is like say a Mosquito Lagoon for instance. The water there is eh, eight inches deep where I fish. A lot of grass. If you try to throw a regular top water, like this, all you're going to do is catch weeds. With this one here, you're going to work it through it. You're not going to get the weeds. And uh, I'm curious to see how it, I haven't fished it in that condition yet, but I'm curious to see how it would work. Here, what I did is I did skip this underneath docks and also underneath mangroves. I skip it underneath mangroves a country mile. This thing, as you look at the way this thing is shaped, it just skips really easy. I mean, you can really skip this thing a long ways underneath docks and also underneath mangroves. Also, too, it's worth fishing a few seawalls, and I've damaged a few plugs 
Mm, excuse me. A few plugs like this hitting the seawalls. When you're casting up in your bridge pilings or seawalls, sometimes I damage the back of that lure. This one hit, it's soft, doesn't make a lot of noise, hits that seawall, drops right in, and um, you know, hook jack and hook ladyfish today. Still a little early for the snook bite along the seawalls, but uh, I, I, think, I think, think this plug will work. So it does have its advantages. Also areas when you got a lot of grass, and you throw your top water and all you do is you get grass on your lure almost every cast, this would be another option to throw instead of your regular top water. So overall, PT7, I like it. I still got to fish with it more and kind of get used to that action. I like to twitch it really fast and it kind of darts like that. And it looks like a uh, injured bait fish and that drew the most strikes. I slowed it up a little bit. Hadn't got a strike on it yet, but it's still early. I've only used this, uh, you know, a couple of times. Had one snook follow it right up my board, so. PT7, I'm going to use it some more. I'll give you a better feedback on exactly how well it works after a few tries and how well it holds up after it has a few fish on it. So, this is Pete Inc., Palm Beach Pete. Guys, thanks for watching.